Namaste, our dear grade 11 learners. I'm Denise. This is your first day in Earth Science Week 1. Let's see your tasks for today. You will use Module 1 in today's lesson. Yes, that's right. We will be discussing the characteristics of Earth. So, in this lesson, our goal for you is to learn and determine the different characteristics of Earth that are necessary to support life. Reminder, do not cheat. Our purpose for you is to learn, not just to pass. It's okay to make mistakes. This will help you grow and improve. Learning is the vital point in studying. In learning, you can apply all these lessons in everyday life to the next chapters and steps of your academic to professional levels. Always remember, knowledge is power. So again, our topic for today is the characteristics of Earth that sustain life. First, I have a question for you. Do you know which planet is the planet of life? Yes, of course. It's our planet Earth, where matter and energy continue to flow. Now, what's the main source of energy? Yes, it's the sun. Earth is a closed system. Energy flows to all of its living components to, to continue various life processes and functions. The different form of energy also allows the recycling of matter needed for life. What are the characteristics of Earth that makes life possible? What makes Earth different from any other planets and the other heavenly bodies in our solar system? In the end of this lesson, you will and should be able to describe the characteristics of Earth that supports life. But before I present those characteristics and explain why your planet is different from any other planets, try to answer the activity on What's New, page 2-3, to three, entitled, Guess What? All you need to do is analyze each picture for you to complete all the missing letters. These pictures illustrate the characteristics of Earth that are necessary to support life. Now that you are done with your first task, let's learn more about the different characteristics of Earth on page 3 to 4. In this part of the lesson, we will discuss why your planet is termed as planet of life. Did you know that our planet Earth is unique? It is termed as the planet of life where matter and energy continue to flow. The reason why our planet Earth is unique is because of these following characteristics. It is the only planet in the solar system that has liquid on its surface and it is covered about 75% with water. Earth is in a Goldilocks zone, which means it is just right for life because the temperature is not too hot and not too cold. Earth has enough gravitational force to keep most gases close to its surface. These gases mix up the atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere also traps heat and protects Earth from the damaging ray of the sun. Also, Earth has a moon that plays an important role for life, like in distribution on life forms, like in birds' migration and navigation. Hi Grade 11 learners, I'm Harper De Los Santos. Let's now see your second task for today on What's More, page 4 to 5. Let's proceed to your next activity entitled Filming. For the first part, all you have to do is encircle the word within the parentheses that best completes each statement. There are two choices inside the parentheses. Just choose what you think the best describes the statement. For the second part, just put check mark for the statements that describe the uniqueness of Earth based on what we have discussed earlier. If you think there are statements that don't describe the uniqueness of Earth, 
Just leave the part blank and no need to put any mark on it. What makes Earth habitable? In this part of lesson on page 5 to 8, we are going to discuss the factors that are responsible for existing life on Earth. There are many factors that make our planet cap capable of sustaining varied life forms, and those are temperature. This one influences how quickly atoms and molecules move. Most living things are limited to a temperature change of 15 degrees Celsius to 115 degrees. Among the planets, only Earth has this temperature range. Water. This matter dissolves and transport materials in and out of the cell. Only Earth has the right chemical pathways like liquid water that could support life. Right atmospheric condition. The Earth is capable of trapping heat and houses. The important atmospheric gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen, which causes the Earth to warm. It shields the surface from harmful radiation from the ozone layer and the Earth has the right size to hold the sufficient size atmosphere. And also Earth atmosphere is about 100 miles thick. Energy. Living things use lights or chemical energy to run essential life processes with, with the availability of sufficient energy. Organisms can perform different metabolic reactions through the cells. Earth is an inner planet that gets too much sunlight for life, while the outer planet gets too little. Right distance from the sun. Earth is a Goldilocks zone or region with just the right temperature to sustain life, not too cold, not sure hot. Strong magnetic field. It shields us from electromagnetic radiation coming from the sun. The magnetic field is the one that deflects the radiation that may destroy the ozone layer. Nutrients. These are materials that build and maintain an organism body. The inner planets, including Earth and Moon, have the same general chemical components which are make nutrients easily available in the environment. Greenhouse gases. Without the greenhouse gases effect, Earth will be floating more than 60 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit. As I mentioned earlier, the atmosphere is capable of rubbing heat and that's because of greenhouse gases. Example of greenhouse gases are water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide. Last factor why our Earth is capable of sustaining life is because is the protect it is protected by the plate tectonics from the very hot temperature of the core. The Earth's core causes the convection current in the mantle causing a burning lithosphere to move. However, the surface is protected from the heat from the core by the Lithospheric plates. Let's proceed to the next task. The next task is what's more, page 7. For this activity, describe the Earth as a planet of life based on what the specification and picture in the box. And then write your answer on the other side of empty box. You can use what you have learned from the page 3 and page 5. Good luck learners! Moving on, the next task is, yes, what's new, page 9. Learners, please answer the following question by analyzing and discovering new ideas. Good luck, learners. Okay. 
Great. Shall we continue to the next activity? Yes, it's what I have learned in page 10. Now, in this activity, assume that you are astronaut and you are in the spaceship and your spaceship hit by a meteor and you need to crash and land on the planets. This happened through a stellar system with a one star and seven planets. Now, you need to choose one planet to land. Which of, the, which of these planets should be your choice for crash landing? Remember that you need to choose the planet with water, land, oxygen, and other elements that will help you to survive. And explain why you choose this planet. Good luck, learners! Good luck, learners! How about another activity? Let's see. Your next task is what I can do, page 11. Now, you are in this activity. Assume that you are an astronaut and you have trip to space. Now, create a list of things and items that you need to survive in space. Example, water. Good luck learners! Now that you are done with the class this week 1, day 1, check the learning task with the answer key at the end of this week's module. Make sure you gain and learn something at the end of this lesson. Learners, congratulations because you are now done with our first lesson for this week one. I know that you've learned in this module and now, I assume that you can now differentiate and identify the characteristics of Earth. I will end this with a saying that never lose your holy curiosity. Again, I'm Harvard De Los Santos. See you next time.